We'd like to acknowledge seniors on both squads. We're going to start with ladies first. For the cheerleaders, Nicole Capozzi with her mother Kelly, her father John, and her brother John. Yeah. Yep. The Capozzi's. Nicole DeRoso with her mother Gina. Captain Kylie Maza with Mother Michelle and Brother Cameron. Angela. Petrangelo with Mother Rosemary, Father Pasquale, and Sister Andrea. Captain Taylor Delea with Mother Tracy, Sister Jordan, okay, and Father Butch. And now your seniors from the Revere High Varsity Basketball Team. <laughs> Captain Dom Boyce and Mother Sharon Boyce. Captain Gio Gomez, accompanied by teammate Tom Soar. We'll give them. Captain Sean. Oh. Senior Sean Leonard, accompanied by grandmother, Grammy Betty Leonard. <laughs> Senior Tommy Soar, accompanied by mom, Hyun Soar. Beckford and Mother Gloria Beckford. And finally, Chris Hinojosa, accompanied by Mother Mary Elena, 
Dad, Mike, grandparents, Elaine and Alfred Pisano. How about a great hand for all our seniors who make us proud on and off the court? Okay, the teams are going to finish warming up for two minutes and then we'll get to the starting lineups. you at the concession stand. Get over there and buy it. Last night, last night, hot, fresh pizza. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Valentine's Day from Riviera High School, Roland Marullo Fieldhouse, for the final game, final home game of the season for the New, for the New England Patriots, for the Riviera Patriots and the Peabody Tanners. This is Peter DeJulia along with Mike Hinojosa. And Mike, it's Valentine's Day, and uh, it's with a heavy heart that we're here tonight after getting eliminated last night in... Heartbreaking fashion yes. uh, against Beverly. But you know something? I hope our guys come out with a lot of heart tonight. And we're playing strictly for pride, Mike. Pride's okay too, Peter. You know, I mean, it's just uh, a couple of heartbreaking losses, overtime, one point losses. I mean, absolutely. Number three, Matt Corielli hit a three pointer for Peabody, and they're up three nothing. 25 seconds into the game. Okay, Revere gets the ball out to Gomez. Gomez to Soar. Soar to Hinojosa. Back to Soar. Over to Gomez. Five seniors on the court. Tommy Soar drives, kicks it out to Hinojosa. Underneath to Soar. Back out to Hinojosa. Spots up and hits. Okay, so Chris Hinojosa gets... Uh, Peter, I like that ball movement. That was Gets Revere on the board, yes. I wish they've been doing that the whole year. Yep. Five players touched the ball before somebody shot. It's 3-2. Peabody leads. 6.42 left in the first quarter. It's out to Corielli. 
Corielli to uh, Levitt. Levitt underneath to number 33. It's blocked by Hinojosa. It was Onesimo's shot that was blocked by Chris Hinojosa. Gomez out to the corner. Hinojosa spots up for a three Short. off the side of the rim. Oh, good hustle by Gio. Yeah. Chased down the rebound. Gio hustled. Got the rebound. Number 35. I thought there was a foul on him, but I'll take the ball. Sean Leonard with the ball. Over to Gio. Gio back to Sean. Sean back to Gio. Out to Saw with the pink sneakers. Gio spots up for three and bingo. All right. 5 3 Revere, Peter. So Gomez hits a tray and now it's 5 3 Revere. Two minutes into the game. That basket was by number five. Jared McCarron. Now it's a tie game. Tommy Saw hustles for the ball. Turns it over to number 11. Who lays it up and in. So Steve Levitt gets a deuce and, and um, Peabody's up 7-5. You know, Mike, is a postscript to this season. Uh, Tommy Saw buries a three. When you go back and think about some of the games that they might have won, this Peabody team was 1-6 when Revere played them the last time, and they ended up coming out on the losing end. And when you think of all those games, that was Matt Corielli with another three, and now Peabody's up 10-8. When you think about those games that they could have won, it would have been nice to have them go to the tournament. This, that was the first disappointing game that they had. Tommy knocks it out of bounds. Peter, they were in a lot of games this year. They really were. Um, well, you know, I was looking today. You know, they, they hardly got blown out at all. They, they they opened up the season by getting blown out by 30 at Lynn English. You know, around the rim in Alpha. Yeah. And then the follow by number 35, Bobby Sullivan, whose father was a 2,000-point scorer at, Sa at Don Savio. Another turnover at number three. Corielli lays it up and in. He's got eight points. And now Peabody's up 14 to 8 with 429 left in the first quarter. But getting back to the games that they were in, Mike, you know, I was talking to, uh, to Ricky Hayes' um, wife this morning. She's a crossing guard at the McKinley, and I was standing out there with her. And I said, you got to exercise your house. I said, your husband's got no luck. You know, I mean, last night a horrible call with 1.6 seconds left in a tie game at Beverly and even the Beverly coach admitted there was no way that that should have been called. Then the kid goes to the line and hits one, you know and, and Revere comes out on the short end. Last week in Salem same thing. You know, they're up by six with two minutes left, a couple of bad calls, a couple of turnovers it's tied, they go into overtime and they lose by one again. You know, the Saugus game here, we did it. We did the Saugus game. Uh, they were up with 10 seconds left, and then, you know, Saugus buries a three from the corner. They had five fouls to give, and they, Saugus ends up winning by two. The Winthrop game, they were down by 20. They come back to take the lead with two minutes left, and they end up losing the ball. Oh, it's a, I mean, I'm talking about four games. I mean, that's a huge swing. I mean, you're, you're talking about possibly being it goes a 12 on and 18. It goes on uh, and on and on. You know, I mean, so. But they lost every one of them. I mean, they, they, didn't, did. they didn't scrap out one nope. win. No, you're right. And I call some of it bad luck, but I call some more just bad play at times. Let's, yeah. let's be frank about it. No, yeah, I mean, that's. You know. Okay. Peabody in the corner, out to 35. 35 is Bobby Sullivan. Gio grabs the rebound. Gio's had a stellar senior year. Turn over to number 11, out to Corielli. And it gets blocked by Sean Leonard, the smallest kid on the, on the floor right now. Checking in is number one, Captain Don Boyce is going to check in for Tommy Saw. 
the sixth senior on this team. Corielli fakes over to Steve Levitt, and Levitt nails a three. That's the that's a third three by Peabody, and it, they're up 17 to eight, Mike. Yeah. Corielli goes in with a left hander. He's got 10 points already, and now it's 19 to eight, Peabody, and Revere's oh. got them in a hole, got himself in a hole right away. You know. Yeah. How many times can we turn the ball over? Well, that's the story, Mike. Turnovers are the story. Yeah. You cut down on the turnovers, you win. We said this the last game. Three, three words that are sacred in basketball is protect the ball. Right. Protect the ball. We talked a little bit about that last night, Peter. It's, you know, it's about it's about percentages, Peter. You shoot the ball 40 times, the other team shoots it 50 times, you're oh, bound yeah. to win. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, even at this level, when you only shoot 25 or 30 percent, you know, it, it translates into six. You have to play smart on the floor. Number 14, uh, Wheeler is in the game. He replaces number 11, Steve Levitt, who has five points for Peabody. And it's going to be Peabody inbounding the ball. They're ahead 19-8, 217 left in the first quarter. You're watching Revere TV. You're sourcing Revere for uh, any kind of entertainment that you want. Channels 8, 9, and 22 on your cable box. Okay. Peabody's putting the ball in. I'm wondering if that ref can count to five. <laughs> Peabody's swinging the ball. Pass and replace. Into number 33. He lays it up over Beckford. Beckford comes down with the rebound. Don Boyce. Crossover to Leonard. Leonard back to Boyce. Boy spots up from two feet behind the three-point line. Knocks one off the back of the rim. Here comes Matt Corielli with the ball. He's going to be challenged by Boyce in the corner to number 23. Martinez, number five, goes to the hoop. Jared McCarron goes to the hoop. Follows on number four, Paul Beckford. A couple of these seniors, Beckford and um, and Leonard, have saw limited playing time oh, this yeah. year. Um, I think this has equaled probably all the minutes they've played all year. Yeah, maybe. Here, but that's, uh, you know. No. Without a uh, tournament on the line, it's, uh, you yeah. know, they've put it's some It's a time tradition in. Yep. on senior night to play them all. And, uh, if it's any consolation to these guys, it's a good way to go out for your career. Yep. Okay, number 14, Wheeler, switches a free throw. So now it's 20 to 8. Revere's down by 12. Minute and 25 left in the first quarter. It's underneath to Beckford. And he yeah. travels with it. You know, Mike, I wish Bet Beckford had come out as a freshman because with his size, his height, we could have got him to a camp or you know, worked on his uh, post moves because he is the tallest kid on the team. I mean, let's face it. Revere High School is vertically challenged. Yeah, they have been for a long time. Oh, Peter. no kidding. Absolutely. You know, he got fouled from behind. Christina Oso lines up for a three. Gets it slapped out to Gomez. Chris has it again. Fakes it, goes inside. Oh, that's a good to Boyce. Right good nice pass, good nice cut by Boyce. 
And Rivera cuts the lead to 10. 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Peabody's up 22-10. Okay, outside to number 14. Wheeler. Wheeler to number 5, McCarron. That could be a travel right I there. I thought it was too, Steve. I mean, uh, Mikey dragged his foot. That was 23, Martinez. Back to 23, Martinez. Three seconds left on the shot clock. And he puts up a circus left-hander over his head. And now uh, Peabody's up by 12. Well, Peter, what a, that's a little bit of a thorn there, I guess. Well, Mike, I mean, that's what we were just talking about. Revere takes that shot. A lot of times it doesn't go in at the buzzer. Right. You know, last night in overtime, I mean, last night at the end of the game, they had a shot um, from three-quarter court. Dom Boyce to win the game. It bounced off the back of the rim. You know, it's not like it completely missed. It bounced off the back of the rim. Peabody comes down, steals the ball, swishes a three at the buzzer, and now Revere's down by 15 at the end of the first quarter, 25 to 10. But in this gym, they've come back before. They were down 20 against Winthrop. Let's face it, Peabody has four wins this year. You know, one of them's against us. Peabody's 4-15. and 15. So it's not like Revere can't come back and... Uh, they just put up a 25 spot on us, though, Peter. I understand. I mean, that's, that's and, and a, they're not going to score a huge 20. number in high school. Yeah, they're not going to score 25 every quarter, Mike. I don't think. But we got four juniors on the floor. The future of the program right now, Siegel, Selovich, Zingali, Chimbelli, and Driesen. Let's see if they can make up some, some time and some points. Out to number 11. Back to Corielli. Corielli fakes, looks underneath. Puts it up. Blocked from behind by Zingali. Peabody retained possession. 25-10. 7.43 left to go in the second quarter. Peabody stacks it up at the hash. Throws it out to Corielli. Fakes a three. Then gives it out to number 11. Corielli gets the ball back on a rebound. Out to number 14. 14 to 11. Finds number 23 in the corner. And he uh, you know, shot arms. We got a rebound. Yeah, we don't box out the shooter there, Peter. A long rebound. We got a rebound. Yep. That's four rebounds in a row by a smaller now Peabody team. It's just a matter of hustling. That Corielli okay. should be on the Revere team. Fits right in. Zingali gets Italian, his hand in there. Four foot two. Corielli killed him in the first game they played at Peabody. Tell you, if I had to give out a most improved award this year, it would be to Doug Zingali. He's really come on. You know, Steven Selovich. Shots a three. And Peabody knocks it out of bounds. So Revere's going to take it in. Driesen's underneath. Revere runs an out-of-bounds oh, play, oh, and, and Selovich travels. Took that extra big step. Yep. Okay, Peabody's bringing the ball up. They're up by 15. Matt Corielli, I believe he is a freshman, Mike. Pretty good player. Back to Corielli. Corielli finds number 11, uh, number 30 underneath the basket. That's... Uh, Preshong is his last name. I don't have first names here. That foul is on Preshong. Puts Zingali out of the way. Zingali loves to instigate underneath. He, he, he loves to instigate. Not with his mouth, but with his moves. He has... He'll push, he'll shove, he'll lean, you know, and he's not afraid. N nice shot. Just didn't find the bottom of the hole. Here comes Corielli taking the ball up. He's definitely the general on this team. He gets it out to 11. Siegel gets the rebound. 
pushes the ball up. Takes it down. Underneath to Michael. He got fouled, and it was no call. Block shot. They're going to count that as a block shot. Corielli gets it underneath to number 30. Fresh on. Around the rim and out. Mike, those 25 points. Still a 25, Peter, but we're still at 10. I understand. Now we're 12. Right. Here we go. Good bet. Good luck. Michael Chimbelli. My, my, he gets my vote for most valuable player on the team this year. I couldn't agree with you more, Peter. There's a kid who can, uh, I mean, he's the heart and soul of this team. Offensively, defensively. Absolutely, yep. Okay, that was 23. Martinez. Peabody goes up 27 to 12. Out to Doug Zingali. He's double teamed underneath. Ball stolen by number 11, fouled by number 24. Jason Siegel. These five guys out in the court right now are thick as thieves off the court. Well, they got to come together on the court. Great uh, cut, missed the layup. Yep. Look at lucked out on that one. Jason pushes, stops. That was Levitt. He has eight points. Revere's now down by 17. Fouls on number five. Or at least Jared, the that was on him. Raised his hand. Jared McCarron. Michael Chi going to the line for two. And there's no 27 point shots in the league, so you got to take them one by one or two by two. <laughs> Revere's down 16. No statement was ever truer there, Peter. 29 13, four minutes and 13 seconds left in the first half. Michael sinks the second, and Revere comes within 15. That's a five possession game. Okay, Corielli gets it out to McCarron. McCarron gets it back to, to Martinez. Martinez goes out to Corielli again. That kid's everywhere. Into McCarron. Over to Steve Levitt, and we're going to start calling touch fouls. Fouls on Steven Selovich. Yeah, he may have grabbed him underneath there. I believe that's his first. Robbie Ryland checks in for Steven. Going to push Driesen down to the three. Which he can play. He's a, he's a tweener. Corielli launches a three. Gets nothing but oxygen. Jason Siegel, nice dump to Cimbelli. And Cimbelli scores. So Revere cuts it to 13. It's 20, 29-16. They're playing on more of an even pot. Cimbelli leaves his feet then steals the ball. Robbie Ryland gets its tap. Jason Siegel picks it up. They don't balance the floor. They get five people. Driesen front ends the three. And here comes Corielli. 3.05 left in the first half. It's 29-16. Peabody. Over to McCarron. And he throws the ball out of bounds. So Peabody's trying to help Revere out, Mike. They've, they've uh, turned the ball over five out of the last six possessions. And Revere has to take advantage of their miscues. Well, we've only scored six points in this half so far in this reason. quarter, Peter. Yep, I, I realize that. Oh, and there's Underneath to Ryland, he lays it in. Great cut. Great look, great cut. And it is an example of what Mike Cimbelli does, and they've cut it to 11. 29-18, 2.37 left in the first half. Defense! 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 
Rebound by Ryland. Over to Siegel. Siegel back to Driesen. Back to Siegel. To Driesen in the corner. He spots up. No good. Cimbelli is a rebounding machine, Mike. Yeah. I think he got fouled there, Peter. There was but, uh... contact there. Okay. Peabody moving the ball around the perimeter. Gets it over to Corielli. He's definitely the little general on this team. Yep. Gets it to a cutting number five. And it's over the back. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, I don't like that one, Peter. I think he jumped over his back. Absolutely. He just bent over to protect himself. Uh, That's the fourth foul on reverse. So they got a couple of wastes. 147 left in the half. They're down 11. Referees have let him play. It's only a sixth foul. They have. Jared McCarron takes the ball out of bounds. Nice yeah, he travel. traveled. Yep. Switch pivot feet. Not allowed. There comes Siegel. Siegel back to Driesen. Driesen back to Siegel. Got to get it over. Over to Zingali. Zingali back out to Driesen. He spots up for a three and buries it. So Driesen hits for three. Revere cuts the lead to eight. And Peabody takes a timeout. So, finally, an injection of some energy and life by the juniors, it looks like. And Revere's cut it to, to eight. Well, Peter, I think it's just a defense. I mean, you held a team. You have 25 in the first and only four in the second. I mean, that's... Uh, We've outscored them 11 of four so far this quarter. And they make it a more reasonable uh, deficit to work with. This is Revere TV you're watching. Channel 8, 9, and 22 uh, on your dial. 22 is the education channel. Uh, 9 is the political channel. And number 8, you just about can see anything on there. There's old movies on there. There's uh, late night entertainment, TC, Ristani. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of good stuff. If you don't watch it, start watching it. There's people over there that work very hard. Well, let's not forget uh, Deb DeGiulio working hard on the uh, camera up there. Debbie D. Eye on the game. Goes down underneath. Yeah. That was Brian Sullivan. Increases the lead to 10. This ref over here, he might have got beaten up in Revere at some point in his life, Mike, because he just doesn't <laughs> seem to like any of our kids. He's making some bizarre calls. I've seen him ref before. Launches at three. Michael Cimbelli with the rebound. Who else? He's a freshman, Peter. He is not shy. He's also a flopper. Cimbelli goes up and lays it in. Left hand, Peter. He cuts it to eight. Cimbelli has eight points this quarter. Now Revere's down by eight. Looking to make a stop here. And cut it to a two-possession game. I thought that was a, uh, a travel too, Mike. 23 spots up from the three. He misses. Robbie Ryland gets belted from behind. Bella Lugosi doesn't make the call. Michael Driesen, they break the press. Robbie Ryland going to the hoop. He gets hit. And there's no call. Travel right here. Da, 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 Four seconds left in the quarter. Peabody throws the ball up. Oh, don't get a shot. No foul call. And that's the half. 31-23 at the half. Revere's down by eight. They just about cut. Um, yeah, they cut they the lead in half. They just about cut yep. the lead in half. So it'll be more manageable coming out for the second half. Ricky's trying to plead his case with uh, Mr. Striper over there. I'm not so sure that uh, 
You never blame the refs, though, Mike. You can't no. blame the refs. No, you can't, Peter. But with, um, you know, it was a four to two in fouls. I mean, six fouls called the whole game. I mean, it's not like uh, they've been blowing the whistle an awful lot. Absolutely. Half, that half only took about 30 minutes. I mean, uh, can't go any faster than that, Peter, to get them out of here. Well, we're going to take a break. Um, for the half, it's 31-23 Peabody, and we'll be back with the second half of the game. Second half, Revere's down by eight, was down by 15 at the end of the first quarter. Here comes Mike. Mike, we, we, we got to play defense, Mike, in the second half. We got to put on the D like we did, and we got to protect the ball like we talk about all the time. Hate to be redundant, but protecting the ball is first order of business. And I think in that second quarter, we cut down on the turnovers. And therefore, we cut the lead in half. You know, again, Peter, you know, it, it makes it a big deal. We still only scored 12 points in the quarter. It wasn't a big quarter. We held them yet, to six. But that's the point, right? We didn't turn the ball over, played good defense, and we just shot the ball more than they did. Okay, we've got four seniors and a junior on the court. The two captains, Tommy Saw, Christina Hosa. And Michael Cimbelli. Swinging the ball. Chris lines it up. Oh, back rims. Uh, yeah, number 33, blue held. Yep. Geo. Bella Lagosi makes the call. He knows it takes the ball out. Gets it out top to Gio. Gio hits it over to Tommy. Tommy lines it up and buries it. There we go. So Saw cuts the lead to six. To five. To five. With a three. That's his second three of the game. And now Peabody, I think, is showing really what they're made of. I mean, Revere has to play with some pride here after losing to this team earlier in the year. Revere's outscored them 16-6 since the end of the first quarter. Okay, he's going to call it yep. down there. 33, 35, offensive 35, foul. 35, Bobby Sullivan yep. with the foul. That's the second foul on Peabody in the first 38 seconds of the quarter. Boyce gets it into Saw. Saw back to Boyce. To put their press breaker on. Hinojosa... Throws a tough pass. You know, if I have one complaint about Michael Cimbelli is I think he puts a little too much spin on the ball when he goes in for those those two footers because he misses an awful lot of them after making a great move underneath. Well, I think in that particular case he missed Gio on the weak side. Yep. You know, yeah, just, it was just a little handoff, maybe yeah. an easy layup. Um, well, I'm gonna say, oh, good play. You know, when we have we have the camp down the Cape every summer, this year there's going to be a big man's camp in coordination with the camp that we have. Mike yep. Procopio um, is going to be running a big man's camp, and I think I'm going to send Chimbelli with him two of the days that he's down. Uh -huh. Just to work on inside moves. Okay. Turnover underneath to Steve Levitt, number 11. He lays it in, yeah, and now uh, it's back up to seven. Manageable, but... You need to be careful with the ball. Cimbelli out the saw. Saw lines it up, and it's good. Nope. Oh. Premature, baby. Corielli gets it out to McCarran over to Levitt. Levitt lines up at three. It's good. Well, Steve Levitt hits a three. He's got five points this quarter. And it's back up to 10. Peabody 36, Revere 26. Michael Cimbelli drives and lays it in. That's his 10th point of the game. And Revere cuts it back to 8 with 5.54 left in the third quarter. Peabody plays that cut and replace offense. Uh, you got to look up, Tom. You got to look up.
Hinojosa. A little long on the three. He's been successful with a bunch of trees this year. Maybe it's the haircut. <laughs> Okay, here comes Saw. Over to Boyce. Two feet behind the three-point line. Tommy Saw rebounds. He gets grabbed. Ricky's telling his troops to attack the basket rather than take a 22-foot yep. three-pointer when you're down eight. I mean... You don't need that. That's Jared McCarron. He's got eight in the game. <coughs> and Peabody's lead is back to ten. Okay. Chris lines it up from the corner. He's not getting it to fall tonight. Down uh, ten. Back rimmed every one of them, Peter, so yep. far. Just a little long. Sometimes a little bit more follow through pulls it back. Okay, that's a travel by Sullivan, but no call. Chimbelli looks up top. There comes a no look. I knew that. Lay in by Gina Hosa. If Tommy ever looks at somebody when he passes the ball, I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I think that's and the only it way works you know it's coming. When it works out like that, he's a hero. But a lot of times, he throws a no-look pass and ends up nowhere. Sullivan drives from the baseline. He looks exactly like his father. Gio takes the ball, hesitates, lays it in. Foul is on Sullivan. Gio's going to the line for a deuce. Is down 10. Gio makes the first. He's got four. PBD takes out two of their starters. Maybe Revere can take a little bit of an advantage here. I'd like to see, uh, I don't mind seeing that junior lineup back in there either, Peter. Down by nine. Yeah, I understand that. But senior night. Give the kids their last shot, I guess. I'd like to see him empty the bench towards the end of the game. Greedily, I'd like to see my son play a couple of minutes <laughs> for the last home game, but. Oh, see? Chimbelli just puts the spin on it, man. Well, you know, I think I think what happens, Peterson, when, when you're up in the air, and I, they can't see you on the camera, but you wave your arms because the, it's blocked in the first position, you come around. I mean, there's no... Fouls on four-team Wheeler. He's going to get it out to Saw. Treason is commit for Hinojosa. And Don Boyce throws up another A-bomb. Kid Corielli's a freshman, and he draws some fouls, and he, he's a smart player out there. His choice of footwear doesn't impress me, but <laughs> uh, it's the kid in the sneakers, not the sneakers on the kid. He's quite a player. Tell you what, if Jordan wore those 15 years ago, everybody would have them. So, Jordan wore black and red. Okay. So, Corielli makes the free throw. It's back to a 10-point lead. Tommy Saw gets it over to Driesen. Driesen to Tommy Saw at the top. Throws a nice pass. Nice pass underneath to Geo. He makes the layup. Leads down and the eight, Peter. Peabody fouls. Shot the cut at the seven. So Gomez has a chance to cut it to seven with 2.44 left in the third quarter. 
you know, I, I've been forgetting to say the score. Now they're going to call over the back. No, a violation shooter. Oh, violation? Yeah. Okay. Came in early. He saw it was short and went to chase it. Yeah. Eight points. Here comes Corielli. Corielli out to number five. Jared McCarron. He lays it up. No good. That is not a jump stop, Peter. I think that's a travel. Yeah, he, he took it. He took it an extra step. Well, you can't do the stutter step after you do the jump step. Yep. Tommy Saw lays it in. It's now six. As Saw does one of his Bonham and Bailey impersonations. Okay. Mike Revere's never led in this game. Oh, they're trying though. Corielli from three. And another team rebound. It. And Cimbelli has to have double double digit rebounds again tonight. Like every night. I hope somebody's keeping the, the rebound stats because by next year. Okay. That's another good pass by Tommy. Underneath to Gomez again. Gomez. Lays it in, cuts it to four, and he has a chance to make it a one-possession game at the free throw line. Number three. Number 33. Brian Onesimo's in for number 30. Uh, his name is Preshawn. Uh, that's the second free throw that yep. Gio has missed. It's four points. 41-37. What is it? Wow. Peabody's having some reveal luck on the layups. Levitt hits. Now it's back to six. Tommy over to Boyce. Saw. Steps up. Breaks the three. Dom hustles for the rebound, tries to lay it up, no good. On the floor, Gio gets the ball. Out to Mike Cimbelli, he gets blocked. A lot of contact, no call, but they're letting him play on both ends, Mike. Peabody got fouled down here last time and no call. So, seven points, 40, 43, 37. Six-point game. 31 seconds left in the third quarter. going to be off Blue's foot. And Revere has a chance yep. to cut it to four. I like the way that ref came in there. That at the end ref of the asked to help. The other ref came in. Definitively thought it was off Blue. Over to Dries. Dries over to Saw. Saw. Back to Dries all alone. He puts it up. Off the black. But oh. Geo comes from behind. Five, four, le four seconds left in the quarter. Three, two. Corielli lofts it up. Oxygen ball. All air. At the end of three quarters, Revere continues to cut into Peabody's lead, and it's now 43 to 37 at the end of three. And uh, love to love to see the five juniors. Yep. Maybe it's about time he did it. When they came, when they were in before, they started making a dent in the lead. Oh, that was a 15-point period for us, Peter. So um, yep. you know, offensively, it wasn't too bad. But you know, we, I'm sure we've discussed this many times over the years. Is that sometimes, uh, you know, when you think about personnel, you know, uh, you think either some. Offense or defense, and, uh, and I think Ricky has a little bit of that problem um, this year. You know, yep. offensively he can go with the group, and then defensively he can go with the group, and it's that mixture of the two. Um, but you get a couple of juniors back in the game now. Yeah, but you know, you know, I have a problem with Chimbelli being taken out of the game. 
you know. Yeah. I mean, you got Duggan, Farch, and Belly. If they were both on the court at the same time, they know each other's tendencies. Tommy gets the first down. Dives to the first down. It's a block. <laughs> That's the seventh foul on Peabody, and Tommy's going to be shooting one on one for the rest of the game, Peter. So that's uh, that's good news. Yeah, that is big. The lead is six. Tommy's a pretty good free throw shooter. Hits the front end. Cuts it to five. Misses the second. But Gio gets the rebound, out lead, to Ryland, lead back to, to Tommy. Tommy's going to drive, blind pass to Boyce. Boyce puts it up, no good, gets blocked, gets hit, and loses the ball. Well, it's, it's tough when you try to shoot the ball one on three there, Peter. Um, somebody had to be open. It's happened a lot of times. When there's three guys on you, there's two guys that are free. Okay, Peabody continues to swing the ball and replace. After a while, the players on the floor got to see that. It's underneath the Tommy blind pass to Gomez. He misses the layup. Here comes Corielli. Drives past uh, Zingali. Here comes Boyce. Underneath the Geo. Geo lays it up and in. And now it's uh, three, Mike. That's a good way to get back on defense and get going again, Peter. That's good. Seven minutes left in the in the game, and it's 43-40, Peabody. We're going to have a foul called underneath or outside on Gio Gomez. That's only the third on Rivera. I don't know how many Gomez has. I think it's two on him, if I remember correctly. I'm not keeping track of that. It is uh, Matt it can't McCann. be many, Peter, because I think they only committed two in the first half. Yep. Okay, Revere has a chance to either cut it to one or tie the game, Mike. Oh, he traveled. Then he throws a turnover. Tommy gets back and makes the block. Boyce, one-handed pass over to Saw. Back to Boyce, he traveled, didn't call, no call. Geo gets it blocked. That was a block by Jared McCarron. Out to Corielli. I like that kid Corielli. He very seldom turns over the ball. Yep. Not afraid to shoot, although I don't think he shot that well tonight, Peter, but. No, but you know something? It's really he he is something that Revere has lacked this year. A leader on the floor, uh, uh, you know, a consistent leader on the floor. At times we've had leadership, but we haven't had a consistent leader on the floor. All right. Peabody's obliging Revere by missing some shots. Tommy's taking it out to Ravi Ryland. He gets fouled by Jared McCarron. And Ryland's going to go to the free throw line with a chance to cut the lead to one. It's 43 to 40, 531 left in the game. Here comes Chambelli back in the game, Peter. Ravi is usually a good free throw shooter. Gio Gomez is gonna can take a seat probably for a couple of minutes. He's played a lot of a lot of games this year. He's gone the distance in a bunch of games. Ryland makes the second and cuts it to two. Oh. So here we are, Mike. We were down 15 at half. And here we are, two. Yeah. Since that time, we've outscored Peabody 31 to 17. Underneath to Corielli. Corielli oh, pushes. Pushed them off. Push Tommy out of the way. No call. Right in front of Bella Lagosi. And he's going to call the foul. 
He's going to call the foul on Bobby too. Sullivan. And Michael Cimbelli's going to get to the line. With a chance to tie this game up, Peter. Who would have thought a short half hour ago? Veal lucks out and gets the ball back. They've missed some important free throws in the last uh, three or four minutes. Tommy lines up from three, misses. Michael Cimbelli gets the rebound. Tommy digs it out, lays it in. Ties this game up, Peter. Amazing. So Tommy saw evens it up at 43 with five, just under five minutes left in the fourth quarter. PB. Seems to be uh, becoming a bit discombobulated here. Oh, that's a travel. I thought that that was a travel, but Jared McCarron makes the. F He's going to get a free the throw. NBA three step right there, Peter. Yep. It's a square dance. McCarron makes the free throw and puts Peabody up three. Rick, Rick Hayes wants a timeout. Plenty of time, 439 left in the game. Revere down by three. Here comes Gomez and Driesen checking in. And I'm going to guess that it's for Ravi Ryland and uh, maybe Tommy Saw. Uh, I'm guessing Dougie. Uh, maybe. You're watching Revere TV. If you want to learn more about us, go online and punch in revertv.org. I'll look up the phone number in your phone book and call Bob Dunbar. He runs the show over there. If you want to become involved, work a camera, have your own show, be a director, a floor manager, talk to Mr. Dunbar. Or... Like I said, punch up RevereTV.org. It's as good a cable outlet as you have anywhere around. They do a lot of good work. Just bought a big new truck, opened a new office, expanding their horizons. Tune in. Channels 8, 9, and 22. Okay, here comes Driesen getting into saw. One possession game, an eternity left. Peabody's attempting to oh, press. He dropped the and ball. Gio Peter. can't hold on to the ball. Great look. Drop the ball. You know, my philosophy has always been, and I'm an old, I'm old, but it's always been there's only five players on the court. You have to be ready to catch the ball every time you're on the court. You know, it's not like another sport where there's 10 or 11 people around, and now Jared McCarron hits his seventh point in a row, and Revere's suddenly down by five again with 4-10. If you're on the basketball floor with only four other guys, you should be ready to catch every minute of the game. Well, if you're cutting to the basket, especially Peter. No right? kidding. <laughs> uh, Tommy's quick. Yeah, he's... But, ill-advised but here's that problem Peter you know you're in the the offense gets you back in the game but you know those offensive players might not be the defensive players oh, you're you know, right now they Ricky doesn't have the luxury of having too many all-around players yeah. now Peabody's up by seven Mike yeah, now that was just bad defense With 324. by Gio. And I, I, you know, I, I hate to criticize him. She's played great all year, but he let that kid just get right in front of him. Well, absolutely. He, you know, he's tired. Okay. Ricky wants a timeout. Don Boyce buries a three and cuts it to four. That's Boyce's first three, and it's his first point since the first quarter. But that's 50... That's how, that's how Rivera's lived and died all year, though, Peter. It's just that 
You know, that's why you're always in these um, situations. It's, it's a typical Revere game. Right. It's counting down. They're in the game. And then they give up easy baskets or, or something, you know, bad foul or this or that. It, it's uh, They're in but, the game and, uh, you know. Then it just doesn't happen. Right. Let's hope it happens tonight. Um, nothing would make me happier, Peter. You know, I've been saying all year that we play without a lot of emotion. And last night, I saw the wrong kind of emotion because I saw tears in kids' eyes. Yeah. After the game and getting off the bus. And I wish they played with that kind of emotion all season long. Why wait until you're out of it to show emotion? Go at it. You know, just kid, I don't think... I don't think some of the kids realize how quickly a time goes by in high school. It probably seems like an eternity, but, you know, I'm, oh, I, I, know. Know, I know Chris is feeling it. Cimbelli got pushed out of the way. Um, <clears throat> you know what? It's over. I mean, I mean it happens quickly. Yeah. It happens quickly. Let me tell you, the older you get, Mike, take it from somebody, the quicker it goes. My 40th college reunion is this year. Yeah, and I remember the blizzard of '78. We spent a whole week up in BC. I was like 25 years old. You know, that's 35 years ago, for God's sake. Tommy makes a nice steal. He goes in by himself, and he, he misses, misses the layup. layup. He got hit. Peabody calls a timeout. 220, 212 left in the game. It's 50 to 46. He may have got hit, Peter. I think he missed the layup prior to get in. Yeah, he so. did. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but I, mean, I, I would like to have had it for right. Yeah. I'm just looking for a silver lining. He cupped the ball, and then that was it. You know, looking back on Tommy Sawyer's career, he's made some spectacular plays in a Revere High School uniform, but he never does anything simple. He has to go through his legs. He has to pass without looking. He has to cup the ball on a layup. Just lay it up. Just lay it up and roll it off your fingers the way it's supposed to be done. Right. You know? Ricky and says to me today that he tells the kids, all, he tells Tommy Sora all the time, ESPN is in here tonight. Right. You know? You know, though, Peter, when you look at a, a, a play like that from start to finish, the problem is, is that very few kids have the kind of speed to continue to dribble the basketball and then outrun two defenders like oh, he, he just did. He has, the, he has maybe the most explosive first step in the NEC. Really. Right. It's just a matter of finishing like we've talked about before. Okay, Revere's down by four. Goes underneath to uh, McCarron. He puts it up. Misses. Michael Timbelli tipped that one in. He might have Revere's down by six. Out to Dries, it's in. No. PBD coach gets a timeout. You know why I got the timeout, Peter? Because nobody that nobody nobody went down the nobody was on the floor. Corielli was. Uh, Smallest kid on the floor. Had and the ball. huddled over the basketball, and nobody went down the toucher. That was on a football field. Christina Hosa checking in. Viz down by six. 132 left in the game. Places Driesen. That's a little shocking, Peter. 
Kinnett Driesen is one of the best three-point shooters on the team. Uh, sometimes you have to question. Now, in this case, you got one foul to waste. Yep. PBD's going to use as much of the 30-second clock as they can. Out top to McCarron. McCarron, they get in the corner to the general, Corielli. He's shoved by Tommy Saw. <laughs> Number 11, Steve Levitt takes the ball into uh, Jared McCarron. He's got it by Gio. Yep. Gio flicks, flicks the ball away from him. It's going to be Peabody ball, 106 left in the game. Revere's down by six. They, they get a new 30 on a foul, Peter? Is that how that works? Yes. Oh, Chrissy Hosa just missed stealing that ball, and that would have been two for sure. Fifty-one seconds. Revere down by six. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Nice hustle by Hina Osa. Peabody's going to get a timeout. 39 seconds. Revere's down by six. And Mike, it's like Groundhog Day. Same thing, same thing, every game. Deja vu all over again. No, they're going to have to foul right away, Peter, now. It's down by good. six, 39 seconds, exactly. New, fresh 30-second clock. PBD doesn't have any timeouts left, but that doesn't make any difference at all. They're not going to need to call a timeout. Like Tommy Saw's done for the night as he puts on his. They put Sean Leonard back in the game. Yeah, play out the last 39 seconds of his career, but he's a three point shooter. Yeah. Now they got Paul back in the game, too. Now he got his five seniors on the, on the floor. Another nice gesture by Ricky. Gets it in. Dom fouls him. Two seconds comes off the clock. That's the seventh foul. Brian Onesimo is going to go to the line and shoot one on one. Still just a two possession game, Mike. Yeah. Well, it's actually, one -on -one. seven. Box out here. Oh, that's a good rebound right there. That was a great rebound. 34 seconds. Don's going to take it to the hole and try to get fouled. Gio throws it up and buries it. Timeout. Timeout, time Rick. Gomez buries the three, cuts the lead to three with 24 seconds left. And here we are again. <laughs> here we are again. Johnny Most, who was announcer for the Celtics for years and years and years, he used to say in games like this, do you have an ulcer? And then he used to say, did you have one before the game started? <laughs> it, it's just, uh, it's crazy. It's a three-point game, 24 seconds left. You get a bunch of three-point shooters on the floor. And here we are again. Well, I don't know how much time they take. The, I mean, I, I think it, you foul right away here, Peter, right? Yep. Foul right away. It takes you two seconds to foul. And, um... Kid puts the ball on the floor <laughs> once it's two seconds. Uh, 
Okay. Ball gets in. Get a foul. Yep. Two seconds comes off the clock. Jared McCarron's going to the free throw line. He's got 11 points tonight. He's got a one and one coming. Mike, we couldn't get a crucial rebound there. Oh, we had two guys there too, Peter. I don't know how we got out jumped. But and the kid McCarron has a chance to redeem himself by going back to the I line. No, Peter, him. I think he's nervous, Peter. I see some jumpy feet there. Yeah. Can't give second chances, Mike. Now we're down by four. Twenty seconds left. Okay, Revere pushes the ball up, 17-16. Don Boyce goes to the hoop. Paul Beckford goes to the, gets the rebound. Christine Hosa fouls McCarron, nine seconds left. You're down five. And PBD's going to come in here, Mike. They're going to end up the season with five wins, and two of them are going to be over Revere. Yep. And Revere's going to end up with the same record as they had last year, 8-12. and 12. No, I, I... With a lot of... Uh, Ricky played the seniors. They got down 25-10, Peter. And no, you know, no, I agree. Know, it's not, I agree. Uh, Another rebound, 7-6. PBD's going to dribble out the clock and dribble out the season for the Revere High School Patriots. They lose another tough one to the Tanners. I don't know how many of these, these kids can take. Uh, that's their 12th loss of the year. And I bet you eight of them have been less by less than 10 points, Mike. Uh, Maybe even more. Oh, you, Peter, know? I, I, you know, again, I think I think in the last few years, Revere's getting closer and closer. Um, you know, the program, even from the younger kids, is getting better and better. Uh, you know, Ricky's got a kid coming up, so his involvement uh, with some of the younger kids. I mean, I, I think I think they're teaching the kids at least the, the right things to do. And, um, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get to the tournament soon. Well, I haven't been there for a long time. And, uh, you know, when, when, when you got a bunch of good kids, you know, if you had a bunch of kids that were pains in the necks, you'd, you'd, you'd say that, uh, you know, they get what they deserve. But these kids don't deserve, you know, they end the season on a seven-game losing streak. They were once eight and five. Yep. And they end up eight and 12. Okay. Um, we're, we're, just, we're just talking about uh, football season and... Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to do some games on location. Yeah, well, again, I, I left the meeting, um, you know, and, and there's a possibility that the whole season may still be at, uh, depending on the bid and, and that whole process. So uh, it's it's to be announced. So we got a little bit, but. Uh, uh, but let's get back to basketball. Eight and 12. Um, feel bad for the seniors. I mean, there was there was some hope there when we, when we were eight and five. But, yeah. you know. Drop some tough ones. I mean, real tough ones. And uh, the kids are in there. They'll come out, and next year we'll see what those, what those eight juniors that are going to be seniors next year, see what they can do. Well, Peter, you know, you know that, that 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 junior class, you know, undefeated their freshman season. Absolutely, I mean, uh, yeah. You know, you've got some ball players there, and uh, they kind of know each other's tendencies. You know, they know they play together, they hang together. And we'll see they, what happens. They live together. For they that actually thing. live together. They yes. live together. So, You're right. Uh, and, you know, as far as Ricky is concerned, probably couldn't think of 
a nicer group of eight kids coming back to the program. And he's been looking forward to coaching them for a long time. If I'm Ricky, I mean, you know, I sit back and go, wow, this is going to be an easy year. Wins or losses, it will be an easy year because yeah. these are great kids that I got coming yeah. back. You've got not so, only a team of eight good ball players, but they're all friends. That's what I'm and, saying. You know, they, not, there's not a jealous bone in any of their bodies. They cheer each other on, and we'll just see what happens. Yep. So... So it's the end of the season, Mike. The final score for the final time was board, Peabody, but, uh, 50, Peabody 54, Revere 49. Peabody ended up winning by five. Revere loses another game by less than ten. And, um, you know, feel bad for kids like your son. You know, yep. played hard all season and ends up on a losing end. But now they move on to their other sports, baseball, lacrosse. And in three weeks, I don't think they'll totally forget about basketball. But um, well, the we have fireworks going on behind us as they're breaking up the, the, the balloon. The seniors are off the bigger and better things, off the college. And, yeah, we uh, wish them well Yep. wherever so. they end up. And, uh, you know, they'll always have fond memories of the high school regardless of what they You do, I work. do, and yep. they eventually will. Yep. You know, I mean, That's right. I'm sure it'll take a little time to get over uh, an 8 and 12 season. Debbie's given us the wrap-up sign, so... We're going to say goodnight from uh, Rolla Marullo Fieldhouse on Valentine's Day. We leave with heavy hearts, Mike, yeah. but we'll be back next year. We'll find something to do, Peter, so yeah. uh, we will. We'll find something take to do. Take care. Good night. Good night. This is Revere TV. Watch it, please.